Today, we're going to use the cool colors to finish up coloring in our dragonfly and the background around our flower. I'm going to use greens, blues, and purples to finish filling in my dragonfly. You can use any combination of these cool colors to design your dragonfly. Think about maybe layering two or three colors next to each other in a space so that way when you paint, they mix together very nicely. I'm going to put a couple different colors next to each other so that way again when I paint these spaces it makes it look more three-dimensional because there's more than one color in that space. Cool colors are analogous because they are next to each other on the color wheel. Make sure you color in those background spaces as well. The space between the flower petals is your background. Take your time and go all the way around with your watercolor crayons. Once you have colored all the way around your picture with your watercolor crayons, I am going to start applying the water to my picture. I am going to get my water cup and my paintbrush. And I'm going to start with the smaller spaces first. I'm going to put just a little bit of water onto my paintbrush and with just a tiny tip I'm going to put that water and kind of smudge those crayon lines around so that way it starts to blend and smooth together. You are going to continue this process for every single cool colored space that you created today. Take your time, use just the tip of the paintbrush to slowly and carefully blend those colors together. Make sure you're working carefully and neatly so that way the color does not spill into a space where you do not want it. Take your time, paint all the way to the edge and try to paint it enough so that way those pencil or those crayon lines kind of start to disappear into the paint. Once you have painted the entire picture Oh, don't forget, make sure you don't miss a spot. Paint that background, paint carefully, paint slowly and neatly. In your bigger spaces, you may want to push all the way down with your paintbrush to get that wider edge of it. But when you get to the small corners, you might want to just touch with the very tip of the paintbrush. Once you are done, please make sure you clean up all your materials, put your art on the drying rack, and you are all done today.